Good morning, Bo Auntie. How are you this morning? Thank you for joining us yet again to our children ministry. Uh, we thank God for uh, for life. We thank God for His grace. Um, we thank God for His love for us. Bo Auntie, today we have Auntie Pilile. She'll be telling, talking about trusting God. Before we go to Auntie Pilile, let's all close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. Father God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace, oh Lord. We thank you, Father, for the blessing of life. Baby, we truly love you. Let's say, "Bonga ngulungu," we truly love you. Let's bonga ngosu msawa kusu bonga tando la kumbosu bonga nagege lo mwana lelele. Baby, we truly love you. Tembegi le. Father God, even this morning we come before your throne. Father God, speak to us, oh Lord, in a in a a mighty way. Speak to us, oh Heavenly Father. In a glorious way, O Lord. Ne gama lega Jesus Christ to us and other reta. Guru guru chulo inwele. Katal chuma. Guru guru chuma manga sabona namtaksi etsen. Guru guru chulo inwele. Zigni getal chuma na njenga guru guru. Se ati chuba kamu estla no sakuza kuz. Baba we chulo inwele. Since ngo se ngamunye na ngamunye. Guru guru chulo inwele. My God and my Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Bo Auntie. Bye.
Hello boys and girls, mummies, aunties, daddies and cocos at home. How are you? I hope you're okay. It's good to, t uh, to talk to you again. Um, standing here before you is Auntie Pilile. Before we start our lesson, can we pray? We thank you Heavenly Father for giving us this day. We thank you God for protecting us all these days, Almighty Father God. We thank you, God, that we are just towards the end of the year, Mighty Father God. You have been with us, O oh God. We pray today, O oh Mighty Father God, that you help us, O oh God, as we're about to listen to your word, O oh God, to be able to listen to it, to be able to understand it, O oh Mighty Father God, and do it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, go on to today, our lesson is... I can trust in God no matter what. I can trust in God no matter what. So, Bo Auntie, I was just looking back when the year started, Bo Auntie. Um, I think around April, we are told to now, we are not going to school, we are not going to church, we have to stay at home, we are not visiting our friends. This year has not been easy, Bo Auntie, but we need to trust in God, Bo Auntie, no matter what, in good and in bad, Bo Auntie. So even there's a good verse from the Bible which tells us why we should trust God. It says, trust God with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight, Bo Auntie. So what does that mean? It means that in everything that you do, you should not try to make sense of everything, but you should put all your trust in God because God is there for us. God is there to protect us for us because he loves us. He created us for a good purpose for us. So I want to give you good ex uh, examples for us of what it means to, to trust a person for us. When you say you trust a person, um, I have an airplane here, Bo Auntie. Can you see it, Bo Auntie? And here, there is a captain here and the crew. I'm sure the people that are going to be flying in here are already in here, Bo Auntie, waiting for the pilot to get in there and fly the plane, Bo Auntie. Um, I remember when the first time I got on a plane, I was very scared because I was thinking, Ish, I'm used to driving on the road, Bo Auntie, but now I'm going to be flying up there. What's going to happen, Bo Auntie? So, but now, remember, we have a pilot, Bo Auntie, who has been trained, who knows how to fly an aeroplane. He has been doing it for so many years. So, when you get into an aeroplane, Bo Auntie, you just let go and you trust the, the pilot to be able to fly your plane. If you are going to the United States, you know and you trust the pilot that he will be able to fly the, the aeroplane whether it's raining or it's thundering or there's turbulences and you get scared but because the pilot knows his job like God for auntie we should be able to have that kind of trust the trust that we should have in God here's another one for auntie I'm sure some of you when they go on school trips to Durban they have been on a cruise for auntie remember when you get on a on a boat or a ship or auntie, you usually have a captain, captain in charge who's able to 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 sail the ship or auntie. I and mean, so when we get on this on this vessel or auntie, we are not scared. Why are we not scared? There's a lot of water here, but we are not scared because we know that there's a captain who is able to sail the ship. Nothing is going to happen to us. So that's the kind of of, of trust that we should have in God, that in whatever situation God is there for us, He will be able to, to protect us for us. So and I just want to give you examples of, of how we can show that we trust God. Those who trust in God know that God will always provide for them. They know that God will provide for them. They do not worry about school. They do not worry about the future. They believe in God, they read the Bible, go auntie, they are joyful, they are content, they are forgiving because they know that there is a heavenly father who takes care of their whole being, go auntie. And, yes. and then there are those that do not um, trust in God. How do you see those kind of people? They worry a lot. Like now, go auntie, 
we have been staying at home some of you are not doing school some of you luckily are doing school but some of us that are not uh, learning are now afraid and are worrying what's going to happen to us is this the end of us what's going to happen to our future you know but you should put all your trust in God things are going to get better go and we should not worry we should not be anxious we should not be unhappy we should show that we trust God by reading the words just trusting God okay go and so as a reminder, every day, this is what I want you to do. Just try out for aunt during this time. Okay, for aunt. Every day, I want you to just wake up in the morning and tell yourself that I trust God with all my heart. There's a verse in the Bible that says, trust God with Proverbs 3 verse 5. It says, trust God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him because he will, he will make your path straight. And there's another one, wake up in the morning and say that God has got great plans for, for me. Where do we get that, Mo Auntie? We get it from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. The Bible says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. He says that uh, I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future, Mo Auntie. So, also in the morning you say that, God will never leave me nor forsake me, O aunt. The verse in the Bible is taken from Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. It says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because, because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And lastly, you should always know that God loves me. O aunt, Psalms 42, verse 8 says that, But each day the Lord Cause his un, unfailing love upon me, or oh auntie. It says that through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life, or oh auntie. So I just want to encourage you, or oh auntie. I, have, I hope you have taken note of these verses, or oh auntie. Know that in everything you should not carry your burdens. You are so young, you should give it all up to God. So for those of us that are writing exams, I just want to say good luck. Make sure that you study, you prepare. If there's anything that you do not understand, ask your teachers, your bigger sisters or brothers or your mommies at home. And those of us that are not um, doing school, don't worry. Things are going to be okay. You just need to trust God during this time. He will make everything okay for auntie. Okay, let us pray for aunt. Heavenly Father God, we thank you God for this lesson, oh God. We ask you, oh God, to help um, our aunt to know that you are a God that is there for us. You are a God that loves us. You are, love, you are a God that created us, oh God, for a great purpose, almighty Father God. We pray, oh Father God, that you keep um, on encouraging our children of God to continue trusting in you and those that are writing exams we just want to wish them all the best to Almighty Father God be with them oh Father God in the name of Jesus Christ we love you and we worship you oh God amen Chances fit these eyes that seek to find their hope in you. I made in your image. I made in your image. This heart that beats, this mouth that speaks more and more like you. I made in your image. I made in your image. Cause you are the potter and I am the clay. You're molding me, shaping me every day. Trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You know what you're doing in me In your image I made In your image I made In your image I made Hands, his feet, these eyes that 
are the potter and I am the clay You're molding me, shaping me every day Cause you are the potter and I am the clay You're molding me, shaping me every day I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way And you know what you're doing in me I'm trusting in the Lord on the day to day Picking up strength all along the way You're doing in me, in your image I made.